All right then, gang, so we've seen now how to use the standard library here and the different modules in Dino, but there's also many more modules which are not part of the standard library, third-party ones. And you can find those over here by clicking on third-party modules. Now, there's a lot of different modules for many different things here, for manipulating dates, for terminal colors, for API frameworks, etc. We're going to look at a couple of them in this lesson. Now, first up, we're going to look at one called Denon or Denon. And this right here is for Dino, a bit like what Nodemon was for Node.js. So it watches all of our files and it restarts the server to pick up changes to our files when we make them. So we don't have to keep typing Dino run sandbox.ts with all those different flags as well. Every time we make a change to our code, it's going to automatically pick up that change and restart the server for us. So let's go down here and see how to use it or install it rather. So it's this big long command right here. So let me grab that and come over to the terminal. Now, in our case, we're not actually importing it into a file like we did with other modules before. We're installing something onto our computer. So we just need to run this down in the terminal. So I'm going to cancel out of the server process and clear this terminal. Then I'm just going to paste this in and we can see right here this install command. So this is installing this package right here. Okay. Now you can see we have allow read, allow run and allow write. And also we have this unstable flag, which means that this package is still unstable. So it might not always work as you expect it to. And there might be some changes, but nevertheless, for this tutorial, we'll just install it and see how it works. So that's just going to download the required files. And at the end of this, we can now run Denon or Denon commands. So instead of running Dino run and then the file, we just say Denon and then run and then the file we want to run. And we also have to pass the flags. So in our case, we want to use the network. So we need allow net. So hyphen hyphen allow hyphen net, then the name of the file, which is sandbox.js press enter this is going to do the same thing as before oops except it can't find sandbox.js and that's because stupidly i've used the js extension not the ts one so let's just do that again so .ts and now it runs this file the same way as when we said dino run but this time now when we make a change we don't have to cancel out the process and restart the server by rerunning the file it's going to watch our file and it's going to automatically restart the server whenever we make a change. So if I make a change now, for example, by saying console.log and then saying down here request made like so. If I save, watch what happens down here. Save it and it detects that change and it restarts the file for us. OK, so it picks up on that change. And now if I go over here and refresh, then we're going to see request made. So this is working without us having to cancel out the process and rerun the file, which is pretty awesome. So let's try that again. Hello again, ninjas, and save it and refresh over here. And we should see hello again, ninjas. So that's a nice little third party package we can use to automatically restart or rerun our files when we make changes and then save them. OK, then, so next up, we're going to look at another third party module, which can be this time added to a specific project instead of just installed onto our computer. And the module we're going to look at is called case. So this right here, this module basically gives us utility methods to change the casings of strings. And if we scroll down here, we can see some examples of the different types of casings we can use in the available methods. So we can make something camel case, uh, a constant case, dot case, etc. So let's first of all import this into our project. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to comment out all of this stuff for now and paste this import down here. Now, instead of just using camel case, I'm going to use a few different methods from here, which I'm going to paste in. And I got these from my repo. So camel case, param case, pascal case and snake case. And let's take a look at how these work with a string. So first of all, create a string and I'm going to call it text if I can spell it. And inside here, I'll say hello again, ninjas, very original. So now I'm going to use each one of these in turn, and I'm going to store the result in a different variable. Then at the end, we'll log all of those different variables out. So for example, I'm going to say const uh, camel and set that equal to camel case. And we're going to pass in the string 
text. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these different methods. So let's say const param is equal to param case and pass in the text. And then after that, we'll do pascal case. So const pascal and set that equal to pascal case and pass in the text. And then finally, we need snake case. So we'll say const snake is equal to snake case and pass in the text. Now, finally, I just want to output each one of these to the console. So let me say console.log and we'll output, first of all, camel, then param, then pascal, and then snake. All right, so if we run this, it's going to import this for us so that we can use these methods inside this file. And then hopefully all of this will work, fingers crossed. So let me come over here and I'm going to cancel out the process. In fact, I don't need to because we're still using Denon and we can in fact see that even when we saved this, it reran the file and we can see all of those different variables output right here. So this is camel case, which looks good. This is the param case where we have hyphens instead of spaces. And then after that, we have Pascal, which is this, a bit like camel case, but it starts with a capital letter instead of a lowercase letter. And then finally, snake case, which uses underscores instead of spaces. Awesome. So there's also many other third party uh, modules that we can use as well. Now, one of them is called ABC which is a Dino framework for creating an API really easily, a bit like Express for Node. So I'm going to dive into that and start building an API in the next video.